Yep, every year um, when it starts to get warm, <laughs> it's, you can say summer's here because people are outside taking pictures of the sign. Or you can hear people out on the sidewalk talking to their children saying, oh, this is, my father brought me here. And, and the story about always taking a loaf of bread to eat in the car and um, people complaining because there were so many crumbs in their front seat. My name is Nick Mancini Hartner. I am uh, 40 years old and I work at Mancini's Bakery and the bakery started in 1926. My name is Mary Mancini Hartner and I was, um, I suppose, born into this uh, industry. So my great uncle opened the bakery and he was 20 something years older than my grandfather who was the youngest son. He learned to bake apprenticing for a bread bakery in, in the bottoms of McKee's Rocks. And at some point in time, he put together his own formula and convinced his father to lend him money. And they, he opened a one-room bakery in McKee's Rocks in Stowe Township. My father became partners with his older brother right after the Second World War when he came back from, from Europe. My dad had um, gone to Duquesne University and had completed two years. And he was going to go back to college, but his brother asked him to help him, and so he um, joined his brother and never went back to school. Uh, my father did everything in the bakery, but um, he mostly was the business end of things. My uncle was kind of the creative artist, and so they had a partnership which lasted a long time. I had a brother who was uh, about two years younger than I am, and he was to take over the business, and he was sadly killed in an accident in 1977. Uh, my uncle Jim, my father's partner, also died in 1977, as did his father, Frank Mancini. So, um, and my brother's name was also Frank. And so um, it kind of um, <laughs> left my father alone and pretty much devastated. And so um, I came down here to the bakery to help in the office. And so that's how I began my career here. As a kid, I always worked here off and on, doing kind of odd projects, and did summers uh, in maintenance, delivering bread, or you know, anything you could think of. After college in 2000, I came to the bakery full time, and I worked as a night supervisor for a full, few years, and, and then at that point, I wanted to like grow and do something a little different, but I didn't necessarily want to leave, so I opened the, uh, the Mancini's Bread Company in the Strip District. So family franchise of, and that's still going strong today. Now for me, a big part of the reason I love the bakery is it isn't just the great product and, and, and hearing you know, all these great stories about the bakery uh, when I was a kid, which you know, gets sentiment, you know, cemented into who you are, but uh, you know, love for my grandfather. So my grandfather used to always spend a lot of time with us, especially in the summer times. He would uh, you know, always take me and my brothers out for lunch and He'd always spout out the rules of baking and, you know, this is what good bread is, this is not good bread, and it's always felt, felt like home for me coming back, back into the bakery, and it's, a, you know, a big part of, of my identity and why I, like, love being here. It's, a, it feels great, and, in, and the stories that you hear from the customers just, yeah, they're teaching their kids to do the same thing uh, that, that they did or their dad did with them or... It's a great circle to, to be a part of because there's not enough of it. You just, you're always hearing every day and week about something that's not there anymore. 